All right, positive news coming in and Nestle is uh, also along with some of the other consumption companies a gainer today. But let's stay with consumption and talk about the FMCG sector. And my colleague Shilpa Ranipeta got in touch with Sudhir Sitapati, who's the MD and CEO of uh, Godrej Consumer Products, and began by asking him about the trends in the raw material prices, which, remember, were earlier higher, have now been coming down and normalizing, and whether the benefits from the lower prices will be passed on to the consumers. Listen in. Most commodities, which is palm oil and crude oil, have uh, come back to normative levels. And, uh, you know, we will price accordingly. When we did the pricing, when we had a rapid increase in uh, commodity costs, we didn't pass on the uh, pri prices to consumers. And we will do what is right for consumers. But it is certainly not an unusual situation right now in terms of commodity. Okay. And uh, with respect to uh, volumes also improving, you know, uh, most companies have been talking about an improvement in the second half. I wanted to understand now that we're into November, or almost the end of November, what's the uh, picking up? Are you seeing volumes picking up in this quarter? What's the consumer demand like? No, I think, look, uh, volumes are a function of many things, hyperinflation, COVID basis. Things will stabilize and go back to normal levels in the next few quarters. Having said that, Consumption in India is under stress and under pressure. There's no question about it. So, I mean, uh, that on a, on a longer term basis, that is difficult right now. But is it still on a decline or are you seeing a pickup? I mean, last quarter was a decline. This quarter, are we expecting another decline or single digit? I mean, you have to separate three separate issues here. One is optics, mm -hmm. which will change. Two is hyperinflation-led short-term volume losses. That happens when there's hyperinflation. Right. That will also change. And three is volume pressure because consumers in India are facing post-COVID issues. That may take a little bit longer to change. A, a sense on your Indonesia business also, a lot of pain we saw last quarter there. Uh, any improvement, any signs of picking up that you're seeing? What's the trajectory in terms of growth and inflation? Excellent article by The Economist which speaks about why Indonesia is such a great country uh, to invest in and why it's got a lot of future growth prospects. So we remain very bullish about that. All right, that is the Godrej consumer management saying that while uh, consumption is understood,